Hi friends, uh, continuing on from the previous tutorial in which I created this uh, cipher. So let me give a quick demo of it. So what I did was, uh, if I type in Python 3 or OT13 demo, so what I did was that uh, uh, if I entered in a, a string like ABC, what it did was it shifted it by three characters. So this tree in here, it means shifted by three. So a would become D, B become E, C become F. So whatever characters you type, it added three to it. So A, if you add a three byte, it's B, C, D. So D. And B, if you add three to it, it's like C, D, E. And if you add three to C, it is like D, E, F. So that's what I did. So in this tutorial, I'm going to be, uh, uh, I'm going to make it more, uh, what should I say, uh, better by uh, asking the user for prompting the user to enter this value in this one in here we have set it statically or manually to three but in this one i'm going to be teaching you guys how to enter a value how to uh, make it so that it asks the user how many characters do you want it to shift by so if you want it to shift by one character two or three so what we do is uh, let's create a new variable called shift input and in this what we do is we ask for a user input now before we ask for input like in here if we uh, we have typed in a string input so whatever you type an in integer in here sorry whenever you type something it prompts you for something and we, when you type you're entering your character or the word or entering your input python treats as a string so however in here we needed a number so if we need a number, what we do is we have to convert the user input into an integer. So what we do is we type in int. So whatever, what does, what does it do? Whatever we put in inside these brackets, it converts it into an integer. So now let's type in input. To ask for the user for an input. And type in enter in a value to shift by so whatever we type in it will shift it by those many characters if you type one it will shift it by one in here previously we saw it shifted it by three characters so if we didn't type this int it would treat three or four or whatever number we type as a character as an as a string so that would show us an error because a string does not cannot add something using strings we have to do it using an integers so in here, instead of typing in tree, we have to type in the input or the variable name that holds this number, which in this case is shift input, this variable, this holds it. So the spelling is not correct, shift, this one. So now let's save it and run it. So in here, we have saved it. And if you run it this time, it says enter in on the string. So we are typing in ABC. Then it asks us enter a value to shift by. So let's say we want it to shift by one. Just increase all those characters by one. So now that we uh, press enter, it shifts those characters by one. So A becomes B, B becomes C, C becomes D. So now let's run it again. And this time, let's say we type in hello and we say shift it by two. So what it did was that uh, H became J. So if we uh, add two to H, it will be H I and then J. And if you add 2 to E, it will become e F, G, G. So whatever it is, it just adds to it. So on hello to H, it adds 2 to E, it adds 2 and so on and so forth to all of these characters. Uh, let's run it one more time. And let's say we run an S. Type in S. So let's say we wanted to do it by 5. So what it did was it uh, added 5 to all these characters and uh, rounded to this A became F. C became, uh, C became H and E became G. So this is how to make it more, uh, what should I say, user friendly. To ask the user how many characters do you want to shift it by. So this is it for this tutorial guys. Uh, uh, in this tutorial, in the next tutorial, I'm going to be uh, making some changes to it because right now if we do run this and type in, let's say hello, and we type in like 14, it chooses an error or we type in some other characters like 25. So if it is greater than 13, uh, it chooses an error. So sorry, let's run this hello and type in 25.
it chooses an error. So in the next one, I'm going to be uh, explaining how to uh, make this program so that you don't see this error, so that your program works. So this is it for this tutorial, guys. Uh, if you have any questions, feel free to put it in the comment section below. And uh, I'll see you guys in the next one.